Fortnite 26.20 update is here and we're going to be going over everything included in it. From the arrival of a brand new free skin, all new collaborations and everything you guys need to know about Fortnite Mirrors 2023. This update is honestly looking to be super stacked so you want to make sure you are staying tuned to the very end of this video as we are going to be going over everything. But just quickly, in case any of you guys are new, we do get 5 new and old subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on, and drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID. And if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. The new Fortnite 26.20 update is finally here and one of the biggest additions is going to be the arrival of Ahsoka Tano. As you can see in the Battle Pass menu, it does say will be available in the next two days. But this will be available as soon as downtime is over for the 26.20 update. You guys will finally be able to get Ahsoka Tano on your Fortnite account, along with all of our other cosmetics which are still not yet revealed as they will be added as soon as the update goes live. It will obviously come in the form of brand new harvesting tools, back edit styles, everything else of the sort that we're used to seeing with these secret skins. We are also said to be seeing this edit style, as you can see right here, is actually from the Ahsoka show, which is obviously on Disney+. Plus. I have to say, definitely looks pretty cool, as it's obviously some sort of white outfit. And I don't know about you guys, but there is also a small chance that we could finally be seeing the arrival of a brand new lightsaber harvesting tool, which I'm pretty sure everybody wants to see in the game at this point. We've had so many popular Star Wars characters over the past few years, especially with Darth Vader having some sort of weird space shovel as a pickaxe. Fingers crossed this time around we can get the Ahsoka Tano's dual wielded white lightsaber which I definitely think would be a nice addition. If you know she will be getting the addition of a brand new mythic lightsaber which obviously we did see in the cinematic trailer for this season. It does look like it's going to work very similarly to the way we did have the last May the 4th event where we will have portals open up across the Fortnite island. By entering these you will be able to get a brand new mythic lightsaber with all new force abilities. You can especially consider Considering how we do know there are still some unreleased force abilities inside of the game files. You can see from this list right here and what I think is super interesting is that we are set to see a brand new force lightning ability. It's interesting is the fact that Ahsoka Tano is actually able to use this force lightning ability so the chances are this will be included with her brand new mythic lightsaber. Or it may even be held off until another Star Wars update arrives in the game obviously bringing us the addition of Emperor Palpatine. If you guys are excited to finally get Ahsoka Tano on your Fortnite account, be sure to let me know down in the comments as there is a chance that we could even be seeing some more Star Wars characters added with this brand new update. Do also know that with the brand new Fortnite update arriving in just a few short hours, we will also be getting the Season 4 Level Up Quest Pack. We do see these every single season where you can find level up tokens across the island to gain 28 brand new levels. And also get yourself a brand new skin, harvesting tool and everything else of the sort as we've had different packs over the past few seasons seasons now. The reason we're getting this now is the fact that we do know that Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 will be ending on November 3rd, so this is obviously the last chance that we will actually have to be able to get this level up quest pack. Seeing as how we're actually almost done with Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4, which is honestly pretty crazy to me. We also will be seeing the addition of the brand new Fortnite crew pack for the month of October as well, with this brand new update which is definitely pretty nice as well, considering we obviously have the Estrella pack for the month of September. I have to say personally it's definitely one of my more favourite Fortnite crew packs that we've gotten in the past few seasons now. If you have been paying for the Fortnite crew for the past few months now, you also will be unlocking the brand new Volpez skin, which is obviously part of the Legacy crew pack. Which is pretty nice considering it looks like this month for the Fortnite crew, a few of you guys may be actually getting yourself two brand new skins. Be sure to be on the lookout for that, but we do know that with this brand new update, we're not actually going to be getting Fortnite Mirrors 2023. It looks like Fortnite Mirrors 2023 will actually be starting on October 10th this year, as this is actually going to be for the very next Fortnite update we get in roughly two weeks. We already have tons of information about Fortnite Mirrors 2023 from the arrival of brand new collaborations arriving in the game. Just before we get into that, a quick reminder that we are still giving away Viva codes over on my Instagram story, so be sure to drop me a follow over over there, the link is down in the description and in the pinned comment. Be sure to keep your eyes open for those V-Book codes as they could obviously help you pick up some of the brand new Fortnite Mirror skins arriving in the game very, very soon. 
for Fortnite Mirrors 2023, it looks like you guys are going to be able to get your hands on a brand new free skin, which I definitely think is pretty nice, considering we're also even said to be seeing the return of our fair friend. We do know we're going to be getting the addition of a brand new Rogue Madcap skin, which is actually going to be pretty cool, as you can see up on screen right here, and here's what the brand new harvesting tool looks like, because it's currently inside of the game files. We also have a list of all of the rewards, thanks to Iron Fire Monkey, as he did say we're going to be able to get a Rogue Madcap skin, a back bling, a banner icon, a brand new emo, a pickaxe, and also a spray. The challenges this time around are more or less going to be the exact same, as you will need to add a friend and create a pair, play one game with a friend, play 60 minutes in duos with a friend, and the final two challenges most likely being the hardest ones, being both you and your friend need to kill 50 other players, and then both you and your friend need to gain plus 60 levels. I already had this in the game in the past, obviously for the Rainbow Racer skin, and also the Xander skin, so this is definitely possible, as I actually have both of these outfits. Don't worry, you will have a whole year to be able to get this brand new set, which is definitely pretty nice, considering you will have tons of time to be able to complete them. Be sure you're doing that as soon as it is available, considering obviously it's another free cosmetic that you will be able to get on your account, and I personally am a big fan of the Madcap outfit. And also, for Fortnite Mirrors 2023, it looks like we're going to be seeing another free skin, which is going to work very similarly to the Chrome Punk outfit. We did have that back in Chapter 3 Season 4, where you guys would have need to level up a total of 50 times to get 3 brand new cosmetics. Here inside of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4, it looks like you guys are going to be able to get the brand new Diamond Dealer outfit. I think it's pretty nice considering this skin is a brand new boss that we can find all over the Fortnite island in different variants. You can see up on screen right here, here is the skin inside of the game files and it obviously has tons of different edit styles, obviously going through hearts, diamonds, spades and also clubs. It also does have some unreleased edit styles which are currently not inside of the game files, so the chances are these will be added most likely when Fortnite Wars goes live. How this will work is going to be very similar to that Chrome Punk outfit, where you will actually be unlocking a new edit style every 10 levels. It's definitely going to be pretty nice, considering it is super easy to level up here inside of Fortnite Last Resort, so it definitely will not be hard to get all of these rewards before the very end of the season. And also, keep in mind, the Chrome Punk outfit was actually obtainable, I believe, all the way up until Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1, so you will have a lot of time, and obviously should be able to get this skin also inside of Fortnite Chapter 5. We will have to wait and see, but it is is also looking like we're going to see some massive collaborations for Fortnite Mirrors 2023 from the arrival of brand new horror icons making their way into the game. From the arrival of a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration for the release of that upcoming movie that we'll be releasing in October, which I definitely think is a pretty fitting time for this collab to finally be making its way into the game. We did have leaks all the way back inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 that we were originally supposed to see a Freddy Fazbear skin. It would make sense that this is why this obviously has not come to the game just yet. It's definitely pretty cool that we're going to be able to get our hands on some brand new Five Nights at Freddy's cosmetics, potentially even a Freddy Fazbear skin or even some brand new gear bundles. But we will have to wait and see, so be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys would be excited for that. But also, it does look like we're also going to be seeing some major horror icons from the arrival of a brand new Ghostface skin, who we do know is from the Scream movies. He did actually make an appearance in a Call of Duty Halloween event in the past few years, and we do actually know that Call of Duty is also getting an Ash Williams collab we did have in Fortnite Mirrors 2022, so it is looking like these collaborations can obviously jump between the two different games. You guys should finally be able to get your hands on a brand new ghost face outfit, which I definitely think would be pretty cool, as he is personally one of my favourite horror characters. Who knows, we may even see the addition of other characters as well, such as maybe even Freddy Krueger, as we did know we were originally supposed to see a boss for him all the way back inside of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. I was actually she's said to have some of the exact same abilities in game as the Huntmaster Saber skin and also the Wolverine boss from Chapter 2 Season 4. That definitely would be a nice addition to see make its way into the game considering obviously we have so many collaborations in Fortnite at the moment and I do think that it's definitely lacking when it does come to horror movies. Obviously we will have to wait and see but we do know we're going to be seeing the addition of a brand new mythic item which is actually going to be Kato Thorne's brand new kinetic blade which looks like it will be replacing his scoped SMG that you can currently get off him in the Eclipse this day POI. We do know that Kato Thorne will be transforming into his Revenant version, which obviously you can unlock inside of the Battle Pass when it does come to Fortnite Mirrors 2023. This boss will have a brand new ability which you can see up on screen, which more or less will actually be able to take away your health if you are too close to him. It definitely does look like Kato Thorne is getting a buff in terms of him being a boss on the Fortnite Island, so definitely be sure you're being careful when you're obviously trying to take him out. He most likely will be involved in all of the upcoming Fortnite Mirrors 2023 challenges.
But unfortunately guys, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.